photosynthesis happening, uh, we kind of using a technique that is kind of similar to what we did last week with the phenol red. So remember last week, we had we um, added phenol red, and we waited. Thanks, electrostatically charged there. We added phenol red, and we bubbled carbon dioxide through it, right? And what color did it change when we bubbled CO2 through it? Yellow. Yellow. Now you know it. Yellow. You're very good. Excellent. Um, because when you bubble CO2 through phenol red, remember mostly phenol red is mostly water, you're going to get carbonic acid produced, and the carbonic acid does what to the pH? It drops it. And this is a pH indicator. It turns yellow under acidic pH. That's Sounds good. Phenol red, right? Say again? Phenol red. Phenol red, yeah. So I'm gonna add the phenol red to the tube first. Now this is not cellular respiration. I'm just reminding you of what we did with cellular respiration last week. This week we're doing photosynthesis, okay? So, but we're using the same solution, but for a different purpose. Okay, I need to give the plant CO2. See, from that formula on the screen, CO2, water and light energy, this light now, will induce photosynthesis. So this plant needs CO2. Where is the CO2? Where is the CO2? Did anybody yeah. bring the CO2 with them? No. Say? No. Yeah, so what am I gonna do? Breathe That's what these straws are for, right? That's my sick joke. All right, let's see. I like to use these paper towels for safety purposes here. Now watch. We used to have students do this until we started losing students. No, just kidding. <laughs> but what happens with students is, yeah, see, how did you guess? The, you have to put the straw in here, and the whole idea is that you're going to blow out the CO2 from your cellular respiration, right? And they, for some weird reason, that straw, straw, I'm drinking. <laughs> you don't want to drink this one no. if you want to see exam free, right? <laughs> and on top of that, I have these students who are like, they, 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 they're like my son. They love to create bubbles. My son always does that. He orders uh, Coke or whatever, and he doesn't drink it. He just hits a... Look at that, look at that. I hope you're not drinking that after that. So you don't want to create bubbles with that one because the first person who did that got it all over him. All over him. So we have the, I developed this actually as a safety, fee. by the way, students cannot do this anymore. We, the, the higher up people came down on it, they can't do this anymore. We had, we can't, we'll be losing students every semester there, right? So it's a professor who does it. You want me to drink, don't you? All right, so you can, <laughs> that's one way to get out of exam three, right? <laughs> I don't drink this because I always will do this. By the way, I put this paper towel here in case I splash it. It goes on the paper, not me, all right? So, I do this. I have a straw, but this time I'm blowing up. I'm not drinking, I'm not drinking, I'm not drinking, all right? What color? A little bit yellow. What, what color will it turn into? Yellow. yellow. Ooh, thank you. Nice. Thank you. All right. I think I can use the same straw. Should be no problem. Again, I like to put this on here. So in case I go crazy with it and it blows up in my face, it goes on the paper towel. Okay. I just make sure it's sitting right here. All right. Blow out, out, out. There you go. That's a late response. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Would that damage you if you touch the skin? Um, well, you don't want that. For anything like a solution in the lab, you need to wear gloves and all that. And if you do get it on your skin, you just wash it. It's not going to, like, as soon as you get on the skin, you die. You know that? No, no. It's not that bad. That's more like cyanide. All right? Not this guy. All right. So, I'm going to put in, man, I have a lot of CO2, don't I? Yeah, I got a lot of it. So do you. So I'm going to put in 
one of these at least into one of them the other one will not get the plant so what's this one behaving as the control, the control. very good No, that's where they live. That's what this one does. All right, that it's designed for that purpose. But a good question, though. All right, so I put this beaker in the middle, full of water, because it's a heat sink. You don't want to heat up the plant. See, if I do this, it's just gonna heat up, and no, no. So this actually absorbs the heat. What you're trying to send to the plant is the light, not the not the, not the heat. Right? There's the setup. So what's your prediction? after whatever half an hour or so what color will this become the one with the plant red. it'll turn back to what red red explain why because lord of because of because it will be releasing oxygen no no because it's using the CO2. yeah yeah i heard it i heard it heard it heard it because it's using up the co2 that i put in there right so i put the co2 in there now i started photosynthesis for the synthesis, CO2 is a reactant. The plant now is taking the CO2 out of the solution, the CO2 that I put in there, that caused the solution to become yellow, right? But now the plant is using, consuming the CO2, so the pH is gonna go back what? Back up, and the solution will turn back to red. So our prediction is that if this plant carries out photosynthesis, the color of that solution we should turn back to red. We'll see. How long would they take? Yeah, 20 minutes maybe. Thank you.